Trevor Zegris. A lot of experience up front. Not the same on the back end for Team USA. The only returning player from last year's squad, Cam York, on the back end. Of course, goaltending is set with Spencer Knight and Dustin Wolf as the returning netminders. We welcome in the man responsible for this team, head coach Nate Lehman of Team USA, uh, officially um, isolating and quarantining in his hotel room there in Edmonton. Coach, we spoke about a week and a half ago when the preliminary roster for Team USA was announced. It was 29 players going into camp. Here we are now with the final roster. How tough was it to get down to uh, where you guys are at 25 names right now? Hey, you know, it was really tough. We, we had a hard week. Um, you know, we, we had a little smaller camp than most teams um, because the college hockey season is, is going on and we didn't want to pull kids away from their teams if we didn't have to. Um, but, you know, it was still made it extremely tough. I think the kids comp competed very hard. I think they were very coachable throughout the week. Um, and ultimately, we, we got down to our group that's, that's here in Edmonton, Edmonton now isolating. Uh, and Nate, you talk about smaller group and smaller uh, team coming together. You're now in Edmonton in isolation, going through camp. Now you're in the hotel for four days. Like, it's a lot to deal with, uh, whether you're 30, 40, or 18. How are you, how's your group kind of dealing with the stress of the unusual circumstances surrounding this tournament? Well, I, I think they did a great job last week. We kind of we had a pretty tight bubble last week. Um, <clears throat> the big thing is is how much this group. They really have gotten along really well. Um, I, I think they bonded very quickly. I think they accepted, um, you know, individuals very quickly. Um, and they worked hard on the ice together very quickly. So um, we kept them busy last week, but we were in a tight bubble. And, and um, as I spoke with many of them, they've been through experiences like this where maybe they've played a, a tournament for the United States and Russia, and, and they didn't really leave their hotels during that two-week span. So... For the players, I'm not sure um, we're throwing too much at them that they haven't have, that they haven't seen before. Now, these four days that we're in isolation, where we don't see anyone um, except for zooms, I think this might be a little bit different for them. But you know, we're all in rooms right next to one another, and we've heard a lot of hooting and hollering, <laughs> you know, <laughs> because um, you know from room to room. So we're finding ways, you know, we're finding ways and. Uh, ultimately, every team goes through it. It's something we're going through, and we can't wait to, uh, to, to get on the ice for some exhibitions. I see Coach just taking every player down in Fortnite right now. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's how it's going down up there in Edmonton. Um, when you look at the squad that you have and some of the, some of the, the initial on-ice experiences that you've had, how, how do you think this team wants to play in this tournament stylistically? Well, I, I mean, again, you know, we want to dictate. We want to, we're the United States. We want to get out on our toes. Uh, we want to get after people. Um, but this team is, is really built from the net out. This team is, had, uh, has extremely, extremely good goaltending. Um, our defensive core has been very impressive in the week that we've had them. So we feel that will be a strength of our group. And, you know, our forwards, um, you know, our forwards, we're going to rely heavily on some guys that are returning to the tournament. And I think, uh, especially early in the tournament, we're going to need those guys to, you know, to get off to good starts. Uh, we'll start with those, those goaltenders you talked about. Uh, you have two that are returning. Before the tournament starts, have you kind of allocated who's going to play what game? Obviously, it's open to flexibility, but have you kind of mapped out Spencer Knight going to be the guy and, and Wolf kind of sliding in underneath to relieve him? How's that going to work? Well, um, you know, we have something on paper a little bit, but but you can't get locked in right now because circumstances can change pretty quickly. But Spencer has been very impressive at the week. I mean, he's um, his preparation, uh, his his practice mentality. Um, you know, it's just I, I haven't been on the ice with with much like it. So um, he's an impressive kid. He's an impressive goaltender. Uh, we, I think we have a lot of confidence and swagger when he's in the net. Dustin Wolf had a, a tremendous week, and he has not played a game in, in quite a long time. Right. And really for the exhibitions, our focus is going to be, you know, kind of tuning up, uh, seeing what our weaknesses are that maybe, maybe we didn't uh, see last week, uh, but also getting some of these guys that haven't played games in eight or nine months, getting them in game situations, getting them up to game speed um, to, to prepare for Russia on the 25th. 
What's it like from a coaching perspective and maybe your coaching philosophy in a tournament like this and maybe how it differs from your coaching philosophy when you're behind the bench in Providence where if something isn't working, you've got that longer leash to kind of let, let it iron itself out. Do you have to have a much shorter leash in a tournament like this to just, you know, be quick with those strings? Yeah, and I, and I think you have to be very, very prepared going in. Um, you know, the exhibitions are, are great because we don't have those in college. So those are kind of freebies to get your team ready. Um, and that, that we're going to use those. Um, you know, I think that's going to be a big part of our success and how we use those. But, you know, when you get into the game, you're dead on. I mean, um, you know, the big thing in, in this tournament is being extremely uh, disciplined and staying out of the penalty box because you can get behind very quickly there. But, yes, we have to adjust quickly. And we worked on some of that throughout the week, you know. And um, the second thing is that you have to see the adversity coming. And there's a lot of adversity in this tournament. Um, and we have to see that coming. We have to be prepared for those moments so that we're, we're staying on a good, even keel throughout the games and, and throughout the tournament. Uh, one of the guys that's going to have a lot of attention on him is, is Cole Caulfield. Uh, he's off to a good start in his collegiate year this year. He played last year. Some people may be a little bit indifferent about how he performed last year. He is a goal scorer. What do you tell him specifically heading into this tournament, knowing that you're going to be counting on offense from him, but also not to press and just let the game come? I mean, those guys, the good thing about all the guys that played in the tournament, they, they expressed it on the ice with the guys this week of how hard the tournament is. You know, we're letting some of those guys speak and, and be the voice um, of the tournament. And Cole was one of those guys, and he, he stepped up and, and he said in front of the group of how hard it is to score in the tournament. So we, you know, if you have that mindset of we know we have to work for our offense, um, I think Cole's going to be fine. You know, um, he's, he's, he has an elite shot. Um, I think, you know, from watching the games last year, maybe he played a little slow when he got the puck, and I, and I haven't seen that um, in camp. He's playing fast with the puck. Um, he's getting the puck off and on the net, and he's working for his offense. And as long as he's working for his offense, I think the talent will come through with Cole and, and with Trevor Zegris and with Artie. Um, and that, that's really the focus is making sure they realize that we're going to have to work for our offense. Well, Coach, we're excited to get the tournament underway. We know you are as well. Uh, good luck during isolation. Look forward to chatting with you and uh, seeing what you guys do on the ice coming up on Christmas night. Great. Thanks for having me, guys. Thanks for interrupting the isolation for me. Any, <laughs> anytime. You can call back the next three days. All you have is time. So.